All right, what's going on, pilots? Um, got another little uh, plane. Imagine that. I know. Um, actually, wasn't even planning on picking this up, but uh, couldn't turn it down after the deal I saw on it. Um, now you guys know that I'm a big fan of uh, the Wings Makers and World's Models products. Um, now this is a, a World's Models brand right here, um, which is also the Wings Makers. Um, World's Models is just the parent company. Um, now this is the jet um, that uh, I've seen this one fly out at the field. There's an older guy out there that probably shouldn't be flying or, or driving, but uh, he managed to uh, get way behind the flight line and uh, put this about a foot away from me probably about 90 miles an hour and uh, had some other guys out there that were flying too and a little baby and stuff so I was not happy about that but uh, you know I he had it loaded down with three gyros with an autopilot I mean I'm not even sure who was flying it I mean he was flying it but I don't know what was flying it when it went down but uh, just barely missed us everybody turned out safe piled into my planes but you know, no harm, no foul. I don't mind building and working on stuff. So, uh, um, I never really planned on getting this. So I've seen him fly it, and his is so loaded down, underpowered, under battery. I mean, just minimum of everything. Um, I never really planned on getting it. I love Delta Wings just because of all the maneuverability they have, um, the speed they're capable of. Um, so I saw this jet. It's been at my local hobby store for probably a, probably about a year. Um, no one's touched it. Like I said, the world's models and the wings makers planes are unbelievable quality. Um, EDFs are great, but they're not a huge name like some of the other jets out there. So people are kind of leery of them. I was on my first uh, J10 purchase, but since then I have now have four uh, J10s. I have two of the uh, X35s. And I'll soon have uh, the giant twin 70mm uh, J11B. Um, that's a big boy. Runs off uh, two uh, twin 70mm uh, turbo outrunners and two five-blade turbo um, EDF fans. A uh, total of 11 servos and uh, yeah, a couple speed controls, a couple 4Ss. Um, it's a big boy. So, uh, but until then, I saw this. And I would known what the price of it was, and they have it marked right there, if you can see it. It's marked as the uh, E288, and they've blocked out the last two letters there. Now, that would typically mean that this would be an airframe-only kit. Um, and I've opened it up at the, at the hobby shop and never really, you know, looked much past opening the box. I mean, it was a beautiful jet, but, I mean, they're asking $150 for it. And just for an airframe, I just wasn't interested. Um... So I noticed they were they got a huge shipment in, um, and they had put a lot of stuff piled towards the back that they were just marking down and stuff like that. So I saw this sticking out there, and I went and picked it up, and uh, saw the price tag they threw on it, which is right, wrong way around here, but you'll be able to see it there, um, which is right there. Went from 150 to 50. Um, now that for a Wings Makers product, that's um, that's awesome. Because, I mean, even at that price, that is awesome for this airframe. This is not a foam, um, foam EDF. This is a ball supply and is covered. This is an all wood construction. Absolutely no foam in it and some fiberglass. Um, so I went ahead and opened it up. I'll show you guys here. Nice looking plane. See if I can get this off here. There we go. All right, I'll take a peek at her there. And what made me finally first pick it up and take off with it is, not to mention, like I said, guys, 50 bucks. But when I got to the bottom of the box, yeah, guess what was in there? We have the 70 millimeter Wingsmaker fan unit, five blade, awesome fan. There's the cone for it. And also in there was, I believe this is the 283110, yeah, 283110, um, 3S, turbo outrunner for the ducted fan um, so they apparently the kit was mismarked as just being a frame only and marked down really low ended up being the um, true $150 kit with the uh, motor and EDF so I snatched her up paid for um, went ahead and looked at it here guys and it is just 
This is my first balsa constructed uh, arf from uh, the Wings Makers. Um, I was almost about to drop some coin on a 32% uh, uh, Sabak, um, you know, for 3D and stuff like that. But I'd never seen their their woodwork or their covering jobs. And I've taken everything out of the bag, and it is just beautiful. Everything is glued very well. Everything is attached, covered, sealed. I mean, I won't have a second thought about ordering uh, any balsa planes from uh, the Wings Makers or the World's Models. Um, everything is just beautiful. I'm ready, ready to hinge up, um, which I like that they didn't force you to use whatever hinges they want. It's ready, to, ready to be hinged. Um, you know, here are the wings here. This is the bottom color of the wings there okay there is the uh, aileron not on and the top right there and it is a military style jet comes with military decals which really give it a cool cool look um so let's open her up here on the bottom and here's what we got all right first stuff right here i'll show you the fuselage first all right now here is the fuselage okay and this is an all balsa all plywood and fiberglass top end fuselage um excellent excellent detail um very good work on the woodwork inside um i don't have any worries whatsoever about this uh this edf um a hatch with a uh, an actual latch on it so that will be nice no more uh, magnets stuff like that on this one um plenty of air intake areas um and those actually serve a purpose i'll show you guys here in a minute um, besides just cooling the electronics, obviously. Um, and if you look here underneath the bottom of the airframe, if I can get it right in there, you have the option for cheater holes to blow out the back into the fan. Because um, remember, guys, this is a... Uh, put that back in there and get to the bottom of the box again. Remember, guys, this is a rear-mounted EDF unit with a booster coming on it, so... It is mounted um, with an aluminum ring, secured in three, three or four different positions, and then you put a boost, booster cone on it, and uh, you're good to go. And uh, what well, the kicker is, is this is the same fan and the same motor that comes with the stock uh, J10, the J10s that I love to fly. So, you know, and the J10s weigh well over um, a thousand grams, or uh, yeah, a thousand grams. Um, let me check on this one and uh, yeah this is another flying or this is another uh, selling point for me was the weight all right let's look at that guys 28 ounces 790 grams okay and I'm gonna be pushing it with the same motor that can take a J10 vertical that weighs up and around 11 or 1200 grams so this thing is gonna scream and being balsa and covered, it is light as a feather. I mean, I'm honestly, it is almost lighter than uh, than any of the foam models. Um, hardware came with it. Everything's excellent. Um, there's a booster cone there. Uh, you got your landing gear. Um, they switched over to the rubber wheels, which I really, really like. Um, and this really surprised me. I'll pull this part out. Instead of carbon fiber for the wings, yeah, you get a hollow, but <laughs> pretty thick. Uh, aluminum rod now that kind of got my attention so when I got home I pulled out the manual started going through the manual and stuff and you know they all say the same thing after you get past the build about how this is not a toy this is blah 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 well out of all my wings makers jets and like I said I've got four let's see four five six seven I think I've got seven or eight of their jets um a lot of them still need built but uh I noticed there was a whole section that was dedicated where it actually named the jet. Now this is usually rare in the warning section, and when it does say that, depending on how you look at it, for me it's a good thing, because usually that's uh, something something a little extra special. It called out on the uh, Delta EP here, it said, uh, it basically was stating that this jet is designed for extreme speed and maneuverability. Okay, now my J10s, uh, my X35s, none of them say that. So I started looking up some specs on this, and from stuff I've seen online, it looks like, and this is 3S guys, out of the box, this thing will easily push 110 miles an hour, and that's on a 3S. So that got my wheels spinning, 
Um, so I've got a 3S fan there, okay? Let's go over here to my little hobby shop. Uh, all right. Now over here, all right, there, I think we got one here. Yeah. Over here, we have a brand new 4S fan. Um, and there's another fan and uh, another 4S, let's see. Yeah, and right here, I've got another new 4S Turbo Outrunner. So, I think I'm gonna smack that 110 and uh, go ahead and put a 4S setup in this and just run it with a 4-cell and probably a 60 or 80 amp uh, speed control. Um, this thing, like I say, guys, very light. Very, very light, very good construction. Um, and it's just asking, asking to fly like crazy. Um, you know, you got the al aluminum bar there. I think this is the open one, so I can actually pull this one out for you guys. Um, two, 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 there we go. Get the bag off of her. Hold on a second. Alright, there we go. Now we can get a better look at her. Alright, so here is the, let's see, bottom of the wing here. Okay, and like I said, they just uh, used the good old string to put the uh, ailerons on, so I can pull that right out. And uh, on this one, I'm going to go ahead and use Radio South uh, CA hinges. Those are one of the best uh, CA hinges made. Um, the covering is perfect. Um, any wrinkles that are in it right now are simply because of the temperature change from the house and the hobby store and, you know, things like that. You usually give it about 48 hours and you go back and look at it. And then any bubbles or anything like that, you just go ahead and take the heat gun to or the iron, throw a sock on it, and you're, uh, you're good to go. So, uh, like I said, construction, great, guys. Everything is pre-fed, strings coming out, so you can easily run all the wires you need to run. Um, just excellent, excellent construction. Um, I really do like the, uh, the, the covering pattern on the top of the wing, too. I think that's really nice, and it has a big uh, Air Force symbol that goes in right there. So, good-looking stuff. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this going, and this is the other thing I was going to show you. This is fiberglass here, guys, and uh, this is basically, I think, if I'm not wrong, this one fits on the bottom, and uh, it has a couple uh, kind of like ram air looking intakes that you put in on it, and this basically draws air in, blows it clean out of the back here, straight into the back, into the fan. So you've got a section on top, which, was all, which also, I showed you those cheaters, also comes vented with intakes that go on top here on both sides, okay, and you got the bottom. So not only is your fan getting all the air from around the plane, but the top and the bottom are both feeding it in a sort of a ram air system. So I think I got myself a deal. I got a new motor, new total new fan unit, which is always good to have. Um, especially flying off grass and stuff like that. Bad things can happen. And uh, the way I see it, for 50 bucks, I pretty much got a jet for free. So uh, I'm going to have fun with this bad boy, and we're going to take the radar out and uh, see what we can make her do. Um, I think I'll be able to get it up pretty quick. So uh, one more thing to come, guys, and uh, just getting ready to do a little bit of air airbrushing on the yak here. Got some uh, stencils cut out. Going to throw some iron crosses, flames, basic stuff on the on the yak, not gonna waste too much time on her. That's just a little throw her off the front porch and hover type and play around with planes. So uh, I'm gonna try and get started on this. This should probably only take me an evening to get everything put in, thrown together. It'll mainly be just waiting on epoxy to dry. And uh, I already got my radio gear that I've decided with um, pretty much pulled out and ready to go. So uh, I'll have an update coming on this one, guys. And remember, I still have uh, the J10 Air Show Edition, which is will be ready to maiden after tonight and uh, and then I also have the uh, A10 project that I'm working on and uh, let's see what else uh, I have another J10 I probably won't start that till the winter though I'm gonna do a little bit different stuff on that one and we got this one here and well I got more than that so uh, got enough to keep us all busy so uh, stay tuned and see what's coming up guys thanks